Hey everyone, welcome to Jira for Beginners Training and in this video I am going to discuss about how you are going to use Jira as an end user and how you are going to interact with the board, what all key components are there on the board and how you are going to progress your work items within any project. So for example, you are working in any of the project, right? And say I am a part or a team member of our RCV Academy Android project, okay? Now, usually your work, whatever work will be assigned to you, for example, you can go ahead and see in the your work and assign to me. So basically this is what, how you will see what all has been assigned to you and how things are progressing. Now, board within Jira is a visual representation of what all work is there for a particular sprint. Say for example, you are in the software development and scrum based project. Then you will see if you go to the board, you will see the board will depict the sprint that is there, the sprint that is going on and sprint is nothing but two to four weeks time box iteration wherein team has to or team agrees that this is the amount of work. For example, here you see on the board, there are basically, let me remove the group by so you'll see there are four story items or four issues that the team has picked up and committed that they'll go ahead and complete okay so now within the team there will be different people there will be developers there will be business analysts testers right as part of the agile development team and working together so everyone will be having defined set of tasks now say for example i am from the testing field so i'll be assigned some of the test items so let me go ahead and assign some of those items items that are there so if I expand this there will be some subtasks that I have created so for example write test cases for view and edit feature let me assign this to myself and then execute test cases I'll assign this as well so now as soon as I have assigned you will see in the work that will be assigned to you you will see whatever has been assigned and this is the best way to basically be on track or basically be updated on what all has been assigned to you by the by the team lead or manager and you are across what all has been there on your plate that you need to be working on so now as an as a user of jira i'll simply go ahead and see what all has been assigned to me and go ahead and start working now from the board perspective of jira you will see that board will have the columns right and board columns are associated with the statuses and the workflow so you see this to do in progress done right now there is a there is a workflow that is associated with these statuses and the issues that are there for example i am writing the test cases these issues can then be moved from one status to another for example i have started working on this writing test cases so i can simply go ahead and drag and drop this particular issue into the in progress right so this is assigned to me i'll go ahead and drag and drop because i have started working on this particular task and then i'll go ahead and move it to in progress and if there is something that i want to specify mention someone or put a comment then i can go ahead and put a comment let me open this in the new tab there so you can either view it here or you can open the link into a new tab altogether and see all the possible or all the options that are available for this particular task right so you'll see usually there will be a description that you will be adding or you will be adding a comment here say for example you are working on something you have some doubts then you can simply go ahead and add mention so you simply if you want to refer to a team member you can simply start with the add the rate sign and all the team members that are there on boarded on the jira will be listed here and you can mention those uh, people and they'll be notified in the notification section that you have asked some question to them some clarification accordingly if say for example you are done with this particular task Task, you can go ahead put the comment and save it and move this particular task to done right so at the moment it is pro in progress and then you can go ahead and move it to done and this is the workflow that I was talking about so if you click on the view workflow you will see the workflow that is associated to the board okay so every board that you see the columns that you see will have the associated workflow in the background now workflow workflow changes board changes is not your response as an end user as an end user your responsibility is to understand the board the columns what all columns are there and accordingly move the tickets as you make progress in your project 
in the right column with the right detail and comments okay so many times i have seen that people work in the team and they don't put say for example i have completed this item or i have some doubt so it's always good practice to mention the person whom you are asking the question with simply say for example at Amit and Amit is one of the team members there so you'll just mention it here and then put a comment there what against whatever you are you want to ask and Amit will be notified accordingly that you are looking for some clarification from that particular person if this task is done and I'm I don't have any doubt I have completed this so I can simply put this task is complete test cases uploaded in Jira x-ray closing this task now okay so this gives a clear picture basically what has been done whether you have uploaded the test cases so the more detail you put in the into the comment as a as a user of jira when you are working in any project and the task will provide more details and insight and will give a better picture when the reports are being pulled okay so now say for example this is done i'll go ahead straight away from the project from this task detail itself i can go ahead and click on done or from the board you can go ahead and drag and drop to done right so multiple ways of starting your work putting the comment moving the work to done state right and then as soon as the task is moved to done state you will see that it has been crossed out and it is into the green state in the done state right now this board is customizable and the corresponding workflow with the boards are also customizable and this is done by jira administrator based on the project need now at the moment what you're seeing on my screen is very simple basic board and basic workflow okay which is ju which, has, which just has three columns to do in progress and done but ideally in a software development life cycle you will mostly see to do in analysis development testing deployment and then done or closed right so this could change the columns could change but the overall working how you are going to work within a project with the issues on the boards how you are going to open the issue close it overall put the comments this is the process that you are going to follow okay so that's basically the detail about the board the work item that are there that will be as allocated to you as a as a team member how you are going to pick those work items you will be able to see the assigned to me in the your work section what all is in progress for you what all is assigned to you and then you also have your work page so if you go to your work page you will be able to see worked on section wherein you will see all of the work items or the work page that you have you are, that, that are assigned to you that you have viewed that you have worked on etc okay so worked on i'm able to see so many of these because i have created these particular issues right even though they are not assigned to me but i have created or updated these old issues that you see here okay anything that you as a team member will need to work on will be assigned to you by your team lead or manager okay but there is a lot of flexibility once you are in the project there could be possibility that you are creating your own subtask as well okay so usually in the project what happens is in the software development project and mostly everywhere that i have worked is that you you, you do a sprint planning and then as part of the sprint planning these subtasks are being discussed and created then and there in the sprint planning so testers or the testing people create their own task bas create their own task uh, accordingly if there are any clarification needed and ba task is required developers create their own task and then people start working on those tasks assign themselves and start working on the board okay so this is the usual flow and how you are going to interact and use the board within jira for completing the work items that are assigned to you within any project so that's all for this video in the next one i'll cover some more concepts about jira for the jira users thank you see you in the next one